Hi YouTube, it's Lena, and I'm here today with my Pan That Palette for 2021. <laughs> I told you guys that this was probably going to come soon. Um, I wasn't entirely sure what I was going to do at first. That's why I actually asked you guys in my last update for my Pan That Palette for this year. And you guys actually decided, were really into the idea of me panning my travel palette. So I'm going to do that. And some of you suggested that I like put in some colorful shadows as well because I mentioned that my travel palettes are very neutral. I was worried I was going to get bored. So I'm going to do something akin to that, but I'll show you guys in a second. So for the travel palettes themselves, let me give you guys a good look in case you didn't watch the last video. First, I have the Tartist Pro to Go palette. This is what actually made me buy the full size regular tar Tarte Tartist Pro palette. So it has six shades. We have Dive, which is a matte. There it is right there. It works as a transition, even like light crease color for me. We have Styling, which if you were darker skinned than me would probably work as a crease color. But for me, it's very much a liner slash, what's the word? Outer V shade. And then one of the shimmer shades we have is Boss. It's over here on the end. A darker kind of like coppery shimmer shade and for the bottom row we have hype this golden shimmer shade which I do have pan and I hit pan on it earlier this year and there it is right there now to clean some shadows off of my fingers we are now going to go into the final matte shade which is crisp this kind of very warm what would be for me a kind of crease shade there it is right here and finally we have the third shimmer this kind of maroony shade and dominate it is what I'm going to hit pan on next more than likely because it does have like a big dip in it as you can see right here so that is all of them right there and the other palette I have which is going to be not a challenge, but kind of a challenge, at least how I'm going to try and do it, is the Sleek palette. It is when the sun goes down palette, and it's a just little mini palette. I got this in a Tarte Beauty box at some point. So here are the 12 shades that it has, but they're all really small, and I'm sure these have names, but I don't know them. So let me swatch out everything. So this row is right here. And this is the, what is looks to you, top row, except for this shade right here, because it will not show up on my skin. It's just a like neutral, uh, like eye primer setting shade for me, just like a neutral cream shade. So for me to finish that one without, you know, getting overwhelmed by it, I have to finish a shadow a month <laughs> and that sounds insane. So I have to finish a shadow a month out of this tiny thing. And I should probably try to aim to finish a shadow every two months out of here. Although I don't necessarily think that will be the case. I will probably finish, I'm sure I could finish this one in two months, but after that, I'm probably going to be finishing most of them towards the end of the year. So. I'm going to, I am going to aim to finish a shadow a month out of here. These are not very deep and they're very like tiny pans. So I think it will be possible to finish a shade a month out of here. I just have to, you know, wear makeup, which has actually been kind of hard this year. So I do want to set some goals for January. I would like for my Tarte palette to hit, actually hit pan and dominate right here. And for the Sleek palette, I'm going to aim to finish the shade right here. Like I said, I don't, and I'm sure these have names. I don't know them. Sleek usually does like a little insert to show all the, you know, pa shadow names, not palette names. I know the name of the palette, but this mini, I don't believe came with that. Or if it did, I have long since tossed it. But this little shimmery shade right here is the shade that has the most progress on it that I think I can actually finish up. So as, for, as far as colorful shades are concerned, 
I'm sure I will be rolling some into Project Pans to either hit pan on or possibly finish, but I figured I would do a one month, one palette style thing for my actual Pan That palette. And this is the first one. This is not my Pan That palette for 2020. I have multiple of these. This is actually where I have stored a bunch of single shadows. Yep, bunch of colorful shades. Um, some months I might pull in singles, some months I might just pull in just a palette. This month is kind of a mixture of both <laughs> because I count this as a palette in my like count for number of palettes that I have, but they are technically single shadows. So this top row, is actually NYX shades. I don't know exactly what the name of this particular one is. Well, I know the name of it is Kush, but I don't know like the, what is it called? The exact type of shadow it is. These five are their prismatic shades, but in like pot form. These two are Elizabeth Mott. This one, oh, just got my nail in it. This one is a Coastal Scents shade. This is a very old hard candy shade. This is actually an Urban Decay shade mini that I got in an Ipsy bag. And if I could pull it out, I might tell you the name of it. No, it's not on the back, but I will see if I can get that. This is an old CoverGirl shade, two Ofra shades, old Makeup Geek shades, and this bottom row is all pretties for your face eyeshadows. I think this whole, this whole section right here is actually no, wait. It's the ones in the middle that are all from the, what's it called? Hocus Pocus collection. So from here to here is Hocus Pocus shades. Yeah, this is a different one. And I knew this one was, but... I don't expect to hit pan on any of these. Most of these are very lightly used, so... But I'm not aiming to necessarily hit pan on these. I just want to get usage out of them. And hopefully the, rotating the more colorful shades of my collection will keep me from getting bored with these. I would like to insert makeup looks that I've done and cop to kind of combine the two of them. Let's hope I remember to take pictures. So that is it. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I do really appreciate it. And hopefully I will see you later. Bye.